Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So, this is gonna be a special type reading, okay? Um, I'm getting, I think it's two, but it could be three energies, okay? Um, one of these energies thinks you are perfect. Everything about you is perfect to them. Like, they love your body. They love the way you are. They love everything. Another person loves everything that you that comes with you, but this person loves your body shape, but they want you to be smaller. Like, they want you to... Uh, like something about you being thick but or slim thick so the vibe that i'm getting is somebody is behind the scenes doing a little magic little voodoo little hoodoo little i don't know what the hell they doing but the thing is they sent a sickness the sickness was designed to make you slimmer so, like, you know, making you sick so you can't eat. Giving you... It wasn't designed to hurt you, but, I mean, shit goes wrong in the process, okay? So, nobody, you know, you may have gotten hurt. You might not have gotten hurt. Um, either way, but they try to do it slick. Like, um, okay, I want her a little bit smaller, but... Or I want him a little bit this. So, whatever it was, was designed to, you know, knock your weight down a little bit. Um... So, then there's your energy that's being protected. So, even if they tried to send a sickness, somebody may have gotten sick. Somebody may not have gotten sick. You may have lost weight. You may not have lost weight. Depending upon the barriers of protection that are being held around you, okay? But either way, there's an energy of you being perfect. One energy, you're perfect to me in every way. The other energy, um, they want to make a couple changes, but they love, they're trying to be in your energy. They want to be, and I'm not even sure if this person is just only trying to block the other energy. Like this person is giving me like, I don't want you vibes. Like you don't even want to be in around that person. Um, if there's changes that need to be made, it needs to be, you need to go away. Okay. That's the energy. But then there was something else that was like, uh. Like, this energy is almost like, and I don't know if it's the one that thinks that you're perfect, so it could be their energy also, that's very protective, more or less, more so watching to make sure you don't get hurt until they come. So, we got, and what it gave me was this. There's an old energy that knows how good of a person you are, they fucked up, but, and they want to come into you, but they think that, you know, okay, well, they want all the benefits to come along with you, but they want you to be a certain, like, look or a certain type, like a certain body type, a certain something. Um, but there's a new energy that wants to come in that thinks everything about you is great like this person just wants to know you they want to be around you they want to see you they want to meet you they want to have a life with you um the other thing is somebody's trying to keep their hands clean because that was a big thing they're trying to keep their hands clean and i'm taking that as not like do everything right they don't want to do anything wrong they don't want to uh offend you they don't want to uh they don't want to miss their chance is what i'm getting they don't want to mess it up so they're trying to keep their hands clean um so that was it and i think there was something else that i was wanting to like it's been a lot of i don't know but anyway I was gonna say a lot of new shit and that's funny because it's right here I am reborn a new world is born um so heed wise count heed wise counsel change is natural good and yes it can hurt 
Um, and there's a complete commitment in one situation and you need some space in the other one. So one energy, one vibe is please go away because nobody's checking for you anyway. Um, and also trying to hold... It's like trying to hold you because they don't want nobody else to have you, but you don't even want them. That's the energy. Like, it's old and it's stagnant and it's like, yeah, no. Um, so Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, a surprise, an invitation or a meeting, and hesitation. There was hesitation there because this person, like I said, is trying to keep their hands clean. They're trying to make sure that they don't do anything wrong. They're trying to make sure they come into this connection properly. And also, this person seems to be protecting you. Okay, and then we have sadness. Missing you, thinking about you, yearning, um, unsure of the future. There's another energy, just like I said. The person is trying to hold you back because they see i think energetically they feel the new situation also happening and it's almost like well damn i fucked up but i know this person is everything um this is but i want this person to look a certain type of way i want this person to you know like everything else about you is perfect except for this person has a type and you know that's yeah, you, you don't want to be their type. You don't want to be, like, whatever it was that happened, it's giving me the feeling of all I'm hearing is it's a no. Um, The butterfly. A relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So the it's giving me, like, the new energy that, um because I said they were watching, they want to keep their hands clean. They want to make sure that when they come into this situation, everything is right. And so that person may have been healing, that may, person may have been working on, you know, themselves, a little bit of uh, whatever it was that they were going through that they felt like could have been, you know, something that would mess up in your relationship, they were healing that. Um, so then we have a heart with a key. Welcome in love, um, the one, open your heart and getting together. The relationship is going to be perfect. So... And then, like, something about the, like I said, either this is a third energy or this is the energy of the person that thinks you're perfect. Something is like, um, okay, so twin flame love. And this is only unique because one of these false flames, one of these, your actual twin flame, the person, the old person is not your twin flame so you haven't even met your twin flame and that's the thing um because in this lifetime y'all didn't y'all were nowhere near each other like y'all had somebody had to find somebody that's the thing and this person's been watching and waiting and that's the energy it's like so I don't know if this is like I said it could be that person or it could be somebody they had helping them find you or it could just be a you know a ancestral spirit that's around that's like a guardian and um that's the energy that I'm feeling but you have heavy 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 protection going down because somebody has definitely been trying to play around on the spiritual side to try to get you or try to confuse you try to uh hold you back trying to like manipulate behind the scenes in a very very messy ass way look working behind the scenes um okay so something is about to change so um we have the eight of pentacles diligent passion having high standards apprenticeship mastery skill development repetitive tasks the old energy continuously trying to work to hold you back trying to uh throw magic on a situation we have the magician right here as well so we have like i said heavy magic over this situation heavy protection over this situation um we have the star card so we got virgo with the eight of coins we got aquarius with the star 
we got uh, air and water, Virgo and Libra with the Queen of Swords. Air, water, Cancer. Okay, so we have the star card, hope, calm, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality, uh, fortune, good omen, and uh, rejuvenation. So we got somebody that knows exactly who you are, where you are, and they're just trying to figure out how to come into the situation and keep their hands clean. We got uh, the other energy that is, okay, I don't want to lose out on this because this, you know, is... But this is nothing but a karmic ass situation. That situation is not going to do anything but bring you down. So it's not even like, like I said, it's a no. It's just heavy on the no for whatever that energy is that's blocking. And it's weird. Because if you feel like you got to change a person, like they're, everything else, everything is great, but go away. Nobody asked you to even be here. It's like the energy is like your energy's fucked up. Nobody asked you to be here. You're trying to insert yourself in a place where you don't belong. Because you're weird, for one. And, again, trying to fuck up a situation, somebody else's situation, for two. Uh, it's like a, a, like I said, a karmic-ass energy. Um... So we got the star, hope, calm, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality, fortune, good omen, rejuvenation. This person, the new energy that you haven't met, loves the fact that you're very spiritual, loves the fact that you're very gifted. Something about your energy is attractive, very attractive to that. Well, it's attracting because energetically y'all are pulling each other anyway, but your energy is very attractive. Um... Then we have a Queen of Swords energy here. Unbiased, judgmental, independent, clear boundaries, direct communication, clear mind, and perceptive. Something happened in the past, a breakup, a separation, those types of things, maybe some uh, lies, betrayal with the old energy. The new energy, I'm getting that maybe y'all either had, maybe have, like it's like an energetically running, uh, energetic running run into so i don't know what that is but either way the person loves the fact that you communicate properly and that you don't play no games that's what i'm hearing they, they like the fact that it, it's like sassy um i'm hearing uh very fierce very uh spicy <laughs> that's the energy they're saying um so we have the magician here action creation manifestation power self-control clarity willpower skill and create creativity so two energies and honestly i'm getting a vibe of you specifically standing in the middle with your hands out because you blocking all the energies because you didn't know what was what or you know where all that energy was coming from but yet then you got two things happening a protection around you from divine and the new energy so wrapping you in a bubble but then you also have the old energy trying to confuse you make you sick hold you back from the person mess with your money mess with like trying to mess up your life it's like a weird ass connection like i want to see you fucked up but also i want to have you and also i just don't want you with nobody else like that's just the weirdest energy ever just go like what why it feels weird um so we have the chariot, we have movement, progress, action, integration, determination, willpower, control, direction, departure, and courage. One energy definitely departing because the air has changed. I said that already. Everything feels different. So apparently there was a certain time um, for everything to manifest, manifest itself. So whatever didn't happen ain't going to happen. And what's about to happen is about to happen. So progression movement one door closing another door open this person is blocked from your energy the old person um whatever they were doing they can't even penetrate whatever what god has put around you what the new energy has put around you 
um it took them a minute because they were trying to figure out what to do and how to do it and how to keep this person from manipulating behind the scenes um because this person kept doing shit um determination um but also more energies like it's almost like this person kept going to different people or something either way they were blocked so then they go get somebody else and then they got to figure out then you know because god sees everything okay now this person is doing it, so now we got to block this person and all these people are under heavy ass karma for all of this bullshit that they have done which is so weird and now they're mad probably at the person because hold on i thought you said that this person was doing this and then so now why am i getting fucked up because you you know because once people start realizing hold on their shit is backfiring they starting to realize like hold on something gotta be wrong this person said this person is this so it's some weird shit like employing well actually just employing people and maybe not even telling them anything i need you to i need this type of spell or i need this because this person can't invade your energy at all period but they're trying definitely really really hard um so we have the world here uh and i'm getting the fact that there's some like some type of uh trying to get your attention and trying to manipulate you into some type of engagement with them because i keep getting the vibe of people trying to force you to talk to them and they're mad because you're ignoring them and that's so weird because nobody got to talk to you go go away so um the butterfly the butterfly ferret so butterfly represents change and ferrets are like ferrets find stuff ferrets so there's something that is hidden that is about to be found so it could be information that was hidden that's about to be found out um or it could, it could be an item something that you don't realize you're missing so that old energy could have something of yours and that could have been the way they were connecting to you i'm not sure or it could be the new energy you were hidden and now this person finding y'all y'all running into each other um also butterflies are change so no matter what happens new connection you're going to change anyway because once you meet the new energy um twin flames or just the uh, magnetic pull between y'all two is going to actually change. It, it does so many things. It's like aging backwards and, you know, like, uh, in a sense, uh, everything starts to work the way it's supposed to work. So everything just falls into place. It's like connecting a puzzle piece. It just falls into place when you do it right. Um, and then dragonling garden there's bunnies there's a dragon there's a deer a frog a red bird a blue bird all of the spirit animals because that's what it's getting me like there y'all have a collection of spirit animals also that are around y'all protecting y'all because i'm getting that the new energy is heavily protected too and I always say guardian because, you know, I say my new guardian is not here yet because, you know, your person to me is, gets sent to me as a guardian to kind of help me, you know, navigate through this universe, this world on a 3D. And it's kind of like the same thing with them. I am their guardian because once we come in, my energy, magic, protection, everything goes around each other it's like so when you come into this person with both of you are now encompasses both of you and you are now under the protection of each other okay so um we have the world card here completion accomplishments wholeness alignment so coming into alignment you and this person you and the actual energy that you're supposed to be in alignment with the one that is supposed to be here to get you y'all go into y'all journey and fulfill y'all purpose um so attainment fulfillment so y'all fulfilling y'all purpose travel you and this person um i'm getting big big energy so travel also pertains to your purpose um something that you two have to do together in order for y'all to satisfy y'all contract here in the now 
than celebration of life, arriving. It's like obtaining everything. And everything is whatever you think everything is. But the relationship, the love, the, the human experience, everything that you wanted out of that and having loyalty trust and uh complete fulfillment with another being complete fulfillment even within yourself so bring in healing in the connection but healing and wholeness into you yourself as a person because everybody should already know happiness is within you don't find happiness within a person you find happiness within yourself which allows you to make other people happy that's healing so healing each other so we have the seven of cups coming in opportunities wishful thinking choices illusions searching for purpose and daydreaming uh, energy trying to create illusions around you you're a great choice you're great because the connection to you would bring them but you being connected to them brings you nothing but pain agony and uh destruction of your life they're a karmic it's not a good energy um they look at you as an opportunity so wishful thinking um how can I get this person into my energy? Because once I get them into my energy, I get this, 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 and this. Because this person's like a lucky charm. It's a no. But then on the flip side of that, new energy, opportunities come in for the both of you. Um, it's like wealth being connected with this person. Um, wishful thinking. Anything and everything your, your heart's desires, y'all can have it. That's just the way that it is. Um, illusions being created only because shit ain't other people's business and you know it's just not their business so people are gonna think what they want to think y'all doing what y'all want to do so and searching for your purpose y'all already know y'all purpose so once y'all get together it's going to be so clear and it's so easy so this person also could be daydreaming about you and wishful thinking basically i can't wait till i get with that person and you know that could also be the thing too the new person i can't wait to get with the new energy um, we have teamwork here, collaboration, learning, um, implementation, building something. So on one hand, old energy trying to work with other practitioners or, you know, low level ass beings trying to stop you, trying to block your pathway, trying to hold you back. None of it worked. Now everything's open and free. And these people are now collaboratively receiving karma on some other shit um learning um trying to figure out what makes you tick and how they can get into your energy it's not working because you got a divine shield of protection over you trying to uh implementation trying to implement you know whatever it is their little dirty ass is thinking of and trying to you know again make you sick for this or you know trying to trick behind whatever it is behind the scenes trying to get that um on the new energy there's teamwork on trying to figure out how to bring this connection together um how do you know what do we need to do because we got to keep our hands clean we got to do everything right but we want it to get it done we want to get the situation pulled together because they want to build something with you they want to put something together they know that y'all have a purpose and y'all have to finish and complete your purpose so then we have on this side give and receive and share wealth generosity charity and sharing so learning how money works six of pentacles so on new energy is uh equal give and take wanting to work with you having a wonderful uh idea of how money works how energy works how to balance the situation on another side we have too much giving and not enough too much receiving and not enough giving so unequal balance um basically trying to figure out how to steal more or less um how do i get this person back into my energy so i could try to because it's really more or less to help them that's what that is how do i get this person back into my energy so i can get so my flow can be proper or you know whatever whatever either way i'm here heavy on the note any old energy got to go like beat it um we got the five of pentacles five of pentacles here um let me put these back because I literally just threw them out. Well, I'll just keep them since they're here. Um, it is like a conversation again. Um, 
financial loss, lack mindset, um, isolation, worry, need, poverty, and insecurity. They've been doing so much shit, not paying, excuse me, not paying attention to what they had going on and spending money that they didn't have to fuck with you. And then we have the new energy wanting to come in. Okay, I finally found this person. How do I come into this person? But I got to keep my hands clean because um, you're not allowed to do it in a certain type of way. You got to make sure that everything is done properly. So then we have a Queen of Cups energy here. Very compassionate, very comforting, very calm, very nurturing, very healing, very emotionally stable, very intuitive, very caring. Um, and that could be also your energy. Um, and this is what, you know, the person or the people know about you, that you are a good energy to be connected to, that you're very healing as far as, you know, uh, nurturing people and, and you are a healer. That's the energy. Um, so somebody could be in healthcare or some type of, you know, uh, some type of medical industry and medical industry could be like spa also like anything that's healing comforting calm okay so um it could be a cna a medical assistant a nurse a doctor uh um reiki healer uh somebody that works at uh um freaking glam shop because that's healing as well any anyway, a massage therapist anybody that basically is does a service that it could be a counselor. That's healing. So any job that pertains to that is that. A therapist, um, that's healing. Anything that fixes something, okay? The jobs are numerous. Okay, so we have a whole conversation here um, about a King of Cups energy. So we got fire and water, Aquarius and Pisces emotionally balanced very compassionate very diplomatic very controlled very balanced a very supportive leader very tolerant and empathetic i'm getting angel vibes here angel and devil so the best of both worlds um because we got temperance here so that's where i'm getting angel from and then we got the devil here so that's where i'm getting the devil from so we got the moon one of these energies are like totally complete like they have done the work they dealing in their shadow side they're dealing in their uh uh, angel side um, but this person is very mysterious and that could be where that energy is coming from so uh, I don't, apparently this person wants to make themselves very aware that I am here because again this is a new energy you haven't met this energy but I'm here um, very attached very connected to the situation This person also is kind of shy or you make them afraid. You got two choices. So whatever energy that is, or probably both, maybe. Um, this person is very intuitive. This person is very magical also. Like, again, tapped in up top and at the bottom. So this person is very plugged in. Okay, but they apparently just wanted to make themselves aware that, yes, that's me, and that's what I'm doing. Um, then we got strength here, being very compassionate, ten of pentacles, um, very courageous, and it's like basically taking the time, maintenance and management. How do I get this situation to come together how do i block out energies that don't belong here um and get these people to go sit down and mind their own damn business um persuasion influence inner strength focus so again since this energy showed up how do i keep my hands clean but i want this situation to be done and over with because i want my person i want to um start the process i want to go and do what i need to do um look and we got justice um around here coming out so heavy on the yeah this situation look heavy on the it's the ace of wands um divine situation yeah this person is definitely look wish fulfillment empress yo it's like um, this situation needs to come to a, con uh, not a conclusion, come to a, um, 
trying to figure out how to bring this situation together. How do we block the energies that don't need to be here and continue? Well, they're already blocked is all I'm hearing. They're already blocked. Um, somebody is about to have a rude awakening. Also, I kept seeing something about a tower. Like, whatever it was that they, this people, the people, because it was like several, like several crashing down um, situations, like all at once, they all fall down. That's what I'm getting. So, people that done, have done anything to block, manipulate, um, interfere, they all fall down. And it was almost like people begging for mercy, like, um, can you please, like, because all of a sudden they go to God. They done did all this extra shit trying to interfere with somebody else's life. And now when it starts to happen to them, they don't understand why. And you do understand why, because you not minding your own damn business. You in somebody else's business. You've been, you was very, you know, ambitious, action oriented in the direction of some energy and some business that was not yours. And so I was getting a huge, like it's towers and towers and towers. Everything comes crashing down all at once because alignment, everything is starting to be aligned the way it needs to be. I just needed to know where you were and how you were. And now we get ready to the, uh, tear shit up so okay let me be done with that and let me get you some energy right here and then we're gonna bring this thing to an ending and a closing so i'm gonna just reach in here and grab out a couple of cards okay and then we're gonna see you know what these people got to say a little bit and go from there so that's all somebody's saying you mean the world to me okay so we know who that is. That's the energy. You mean the world to me. Because I kept hearing, you are perfect to me. Everything about you is perfect to me. So somebody thinks you are fucking perfect. And then, like I said, you had two energies. Somebody, like, oh, I love the way this person treats me. I love the way this person is. But I need a specific type. Nigga, go the fuck on. You ain't the type, okay? You're not the type. Nobody wants you bitch leave like literally you're not the type ho like you know what i'm saying you want a certain specific type of dude but meanwhile bitch you a ho nobody wants that okay um take it how it resonates for you so if you're a man i said what i said and if you a woman i said what i said so somebody's talking to god about it and they're praying for you we already know who that energy is new energy so they think you're a boss bitch and you're giving off real rich bet rich bitch ass vibes somebody's saying please forgive me um i did what i did and i'm sorry rose or white wine could be specific um somebody saying i just want to love you and you mean everything to me we know who that is missouri or massachusetts could be important or significant and it's something about travel okay um so this person uh, look then i say the best of both worlds here's the best of both worlds um we got um the person could be a rapper a mc or a hit maker a producer or director um somebody in the entertainment industry basically this person could be um somebody could be a football player or an nba player okay so we getting um celebrity type vibes so this person could be a celebrity we got un undercover agent and a private investigator which is giving me this person was trying to um figure out some information so they may have hired or put some people um in your business or there could literally be an undercover agent or a private investigator out here um somebody has been spiritually trespassing and it's been a lot of spiritual trespassing we know that for a fact um somebody's yearning to be with you and they love you Somebody saying they cut from a different cloth. Somebody saying, uh, oh, Arizona or the Hollywood Hills could be significant. Washington or Maryland. Louisiana or Alabama could be significant. Somebody's calling you bae or wants to call you bae. Somebody's manifesting you and they've been waiting on you. Um, you're my favorite person, my best friend. We're just meant to be. 
um somebody i create the life i desire and i'm trying to see you somebody's an entrepreneur so they have their own business um or somebody could be um something about an ig model so that person could have been dating the ig models or the, or the person might want the design of an ig model and that might be why they're trying to send you a sickness for you to lose weight um somebody sent saying they feel amazing connecticut or new york could be significant or important somebody saying you're all i want and they made you a mixed playlist so music is a thing um somebody saying i cherish you and thank you for making me a better person somebody's hood rich um somebody saying music is my therapy didn't i just say music is a thing music is in my dna california and nevada could be significant or important somebody saying i don't drink and then moscato is important Houston and Tennessee could be significant or important. And somebody's saying, I stay to myself and I mind my business. And somebody's booked and busy. So somebody's, um, you know, making that moolah. Um, this is just between you and me. And will you come see me? Um, somebody's afraid of, your re uh, afraid, of, afraid of rejection, but they want your affection. And somebody wants you to hear them out, okay? Um... Somebody's saying, I'm open to receiving the many gifts that want to come to me. Somebody's trying to manifest um, you. Um, divine masculine is here. Um, divine counterpart. Kingdom spouse. Somebody's carrying the bag. What's done in the dark should come into the light. Um, somebody's saying they're safe to love. And somebody has no accountability divine masculine is here um and like i said that one is kingdom spells divine masculine and your divine counterpart um somebody saying they blessed to be a blessing they're blessed and highly favored and somebody saying they want you to call them daddy something about los angeles is important and somebody saying they sorry they lied um they wasn't taught how to love and I don't know what you want me to say. Somebody calling you sweetie. And somebody saying I don't know how to tell you how I truly feel. But somebody also saying I appreciate you so much. Okay guys that's the reading. Thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go with God.